last week, the 8th of March, we had the most from Isham. Number one, there was the Gravatar King. Um, the awful. Oh, and 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 we have demos. Nobody. Not not from me. It's sad. Two picks. Vicky? It's Vicky. I mean, <laughs> I, I suppose that uh, Vicky has a topic, but then uh, I will Thank tell you. it. Uh, watch it, Harris. Thank you. Uh, Vicky is muted, yeah, I guess. Mm, can you uh, hear me? Yes. We got the yeah. text uh, subject. Yeah, okay. Uh, sorry, yeah, I would like to talk about the harvest. Thank you. This it uh, social one. They did some changes. So last week, twenty third uh, action to match names. So just name changes for the actions. Um, single time ID being null. Null check in some cases for the taxonomy. Orchard Core. Orchard Core 24. Okay. 28. 28. Big branch. Start. Here. 29. Middle time update. End of the update. AWS update. Contained part with the with last version. Ah, but super optimistic about this one. It's usually not something that we do. Here it's used in the edit. Okay, in this case, it's fine and not in a display so that should be fine then in the edit it's okay it's really only used for permission checks don't hear you at all mike not the good microphone use the other one It's in the edit, that's fine. Uh, it's only you for permission check. Okay. It's not obvious here, but as long as it's in the edit, I, I don't mind. Edit update. Display will be an issue. Okay. Uh, add support for built-in custom elastic search analyzer. We will do it many times. So now in the options I've explained here, you can define uh, custom analyzers for elastic search in the same way that you would do that directly in elastic search. It's just forwarding the configuration. When the index is built. So it's a JSON thing. 
uh, and and also another nice thing this PR is that it's using it's using yeah, the syntax JSON to parse this section. JSON of nodes namespace, which is available since Net6. It's like the JOBJECT object uh, document object model, but from system text JSON. So no, 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 no need of depending on Newton sub JSON. But it's the same thing. You see JSON array, JSON object, and so on. So good. Uh, fixed root namespace. I believe it's just for new files that is useful. Otherwise, I don't know why it would be used for. And Kdox update, add data migration, add data migration. Extension method, ah. uh, add data migration. Not a big fan of these wrappers. I've done a few of them myself, but my reason being that we are hiding stuff, like we don't know what's happening there. Maybe it's just doing something simple with this class. Maybe it's doing something complex. In this case, it's very simple. And we are hiding the IATA migration. But yeah, we do that for a lot of things. Like that. Usually we do that when there is more than just defining a class and an interface. Okay, at the same time, it's encapsulated. So if tomorrow we need to do something with the class, when it's a the migration, then we can add more things behind the add data migration. And then add missing comma and getting started. Okay, and identity web 270 update. Questions, comments? The demos, topics, topics. Uh, Victoria, do you want to start? One, six, uh, one, yeah, I can start. Thank you. So, um, you know, there was a little bit silence around harvest and um, and it it is because um, there was a lot of feedback that uh, that a lot of people uh, won't be able to join in a person so we had to uh, figure out something and uh, with Zoltan and uh, Benedek uh, we uh, decided that uh, for this year, it would be better to have an online event. And then, uh, because there are other reasons, not just um, the participants, uh, which makes it even harder to organize um, the event. Uh, so this is uh, what we came up. So first, uh, now we will try an online event and then Maybe next year we could uh, we could meet up uh, in person. So I uh, wanted to share this with you. You all, you mean? Yeah, yeah, you all, of course. Okay. And uh, if you have questions or or uh, any. Um, any ideas, uh, I would still really appreciate it. So do you have, do you know, do you have any, is it just start, are you just starting to think about how you would do that and when and? Yeah, also the, uh, you know, we uh, decided a date, but then it turned out that uh, 
a really big event would take uh, place in the same uh, dates as uh, we uh, wanted to organize harvest. So that's also another uh, issue. Uh, so yeah. So to be continued, we'll get more info later, I assume, kind of when you know more. Yeah, yes, uh, we are figuring uh, it out now. But um, I I hope that uh, we don't have to uh, postpone it uh, really. But uh, yeah, I, I'm sure that uh, there will be a change in the date as well. So uh, those who would like to participate in both can. Uh, sorry, uh, Zoli, did you want to say something? Yeah, I would perhaps put it on next week or something like that. Um, taking that um, yeah. US holiday into account that we talked about, I can't remember uh, which, one, which one it was. Uh, so we are not postponing uh, indefinitely. Yes, yes, I also, I was also thinking about something like uh, one or two weeks uh, and uh, taking into consideration the, the holiday in the US. I would do something like a, a single day online event, so having something like perhaps uh, six, eight longer talks or more shorter ones. Um, following various uh, various topics after a keynote. When you mention holidays, what? What do you think about? Uh, mm. uh, I think Mike, you mentioned that there's uh, there's some kind of U.S. holiday, uh, not necessarily a national one, but still something. There is a Memorial the holiday, week. I believe, and okay. there is a Mother Day, I think, on the middle of the month somewhere. So still talking about May, right? Yes, or uh, okay. Maybe the beginning of June, but I would rather uh, go with May if it's possible. But still, before the um, the the summer holiday starts. Good. Uh, what else? One six or oh, sorry? Questions, comments? Back. One. Okay. One six. One six. So, what did we do for one six? We fixed the translations and updated all the packages of translations. We updated or to go to use the new packages for translations that we published under 161 um and 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 yeah yeah but what was done on the PR was to update translations, remove the cloud usage, updates on the release notes. Uh, I believe we merge main six. Pretty sure we did that. It, uh, everything has been updated in the version numbers. One six, that is wrong, right? Oh no, that's that's correct. Okay, I'm confused now. 
CMS, this is, okay, this is just, okay, no, no, no. 161, I was looking for is there. Okay, that's good. And there was something that didn't work. And I don't know if anyone looked at it. Lots of green here, which is great, but we tried to run the functional test and it failed. And we don't know why. So that's something that needs to be looked into. I have no idea what it is. It sounds familiar, but yeah, that's, oh, that's an yeah. issue. And the ones means that yeah, that a file is not found. So it can be pretty much anything. Oh yeah, 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 they say okay. So they can't find this file, right? Probably. Yeah, maybe that means that it's not actually built it's properly. In a... And I think we looked at the script to see if it was actually if it was looking for seven zero, but we bid for net eight. No, but we built for net six, so it was, but we looked into the code and it was correctly building net seven zero. But that might be still ready. Maybe we are missing some place where it should build uh, seven zero, but it's actually six. Uh, are you sure that uh, the application is actually built because uh... The, the, supposedly the building step here is uh, is is immediate. So uh, if you, you look at line thirty, yeah, I, I think this is where the, the actually, <coughs> actually the fast the build. Yes, build the core app is built. <laughs> it's a fast build. Building. Building. Here. Uh, Am I? This would be that the build fails, but we can't see the, the errors. Because it's not. Yeah. Maybe it's missing the. Framework here, even though I would expect that if you call .NET build on this folder, then it should be the two of them, six and seven. Seven should be available. Build, where is build called? Build there, what is there? If exists. Okay, no, so it's not going there, so it's building it. Post there. Dot net version net seven. It's not using it, so it will be for the two of them. And then we say start. That's the starting application thing. And then that's why it says I can't find it because it didn't build correctly. When you say starting, so build here is doing nothing, but we are not um, outputting the error. However, it says here server that the CR data. Maybe it's called too late, this thing. Server, no, that's when it starts, that's why. Try process, boom. Server spoon, server has to be out. So that's something we could try to add. But yeah, the build failed. Is it that dash C command? Ah, uh, dash C is for configuration. Is the it? Command, uh, okay. Yeah, the command itself is build. So it's like a list of arguments. So .NET is the executable. And then we say build dash C raise, which is fine. But I just want to see if. 
because the reason I mentioned that, remember we had an issue with that, uh, the dot build command with yeah. that having the framework. I don't know if it's related or not. It was, it was not for um, that one. It was for the dash output. Oh, okay. I forgot what it and was. And here, I so net. I will do something else. Just to see what's happening. Even that is slower than what we saw. So that's weird. Yeah, it's doing something. So what's happening? Is it maybe because it's like some kind of async thing and it needs to be awaited? And you see spawn async, I'm like, I see, because there is a spawn here. There is a spawn, check process of spawn, and here check process of spawn async. And when I see that, I'm like, eh, maybe it's missing an await here. Or, an await build here. That could explain why it's like instantaneous. Sounds weird to me. Spoon async. Why did it ever, ever work? With the exception that the function will not return until the child process has fully closed. So no, that's not how. Oh, spawn sync. I can't read. I can't read. It's spawn sync. I'm, I was reading async. Oh. So spawn sync is actually blocking, which is great. And this one is not blocking. But it's returning the server, so something is waiting for the server. The weaver is going. Oh, so that's fine. Okay, so so this one is blocking. And uh, is there a way to get the output for that? Child process. Spoon sync. Um, it's a long string. STD out on completion. So, what does it return? It returns an object. Oh, STD out. Okay, we do the same thing here. To string returns std out on completion. So std out dot to string. Well, we are looking for the std error probably. But I'm not sure. Maybe it will show the error message on std out. Std error being something different, like you know when. When you hear, you see that's the out. Yeah. Can try both. Okay. 
puis on pourra appeler display. Yeah. Cons console log. Yeah. We do that here. Yeah, console log. Console log. Let's fix it. Or probably global.log. If That's you want to see. Oh, global.log. Beautiful. Yeah. Sage. Uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah, well. Mm. Mm. If there are multiple lines, then let's show once. Yeah. This is where, yeah. Well, we can do that, but yeah, at least we'll see one. Okay, global log. And, 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 and here, give me the branch release six. Five. And we say global, uh, or we can save our results. That log, I'm getting a code review from Jotan by result.stb out. The string, I will just do the same thing as the sample I saw. Okay, commit changes. Won't fix the problem, but oh, what's the problem? And then beautiful options to be quick. Release one six. Uh, this one run workflow branch one oh, beautiful. Do you remember those who are all in the project? Do you remember uh, Stanley Goldman? The name ring a bell. Uh, I Stanley do. Goldman. Yeah, um, I think he works yeah, on GitHub Action Section. Huh? Yes, exactly. How do you know that? Uh, I think I'm, I also follow him on Twitter or something. Interesting. I mean, and uh, yeah, 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 I had a conversation with him, and I, I and I told me he was working. I know he was working at GitHub, and uh, and actually he's working on GitHub Actions. So that's why I'm mentioning that because it's awesome. Okay, run, run, functional test here. We should have the pin now. Beautiful. Uh, what do we have? Said was well, not there before. Building nothing. One six. Maybe it's empty. Maybe you're right. Maybe we can just the result. I don't know. I'm not very confident with this one.
at that point, next step would be to do it locally, not have to commit everything. Uh, we run job. It should clone again, probably. Uh, I think that's not actually um, how the API of uh, of that um, spawn but uh, spawn thing is. Uh, it returns an array, but it's not a not a not a dictionary. It's a simple array, and output one is std out. Okay, that will explain. Okay, so you say this is an array. Say it's written object here. What does it mean, object? Say it's object. Yeah. You you actually need a result dot output, and that will be the the array. It seems to me, right? Output array of results from std io output std out the content of output one i there. So result dot std out is output one. So we we can display output and it will be an array. Uh, that works too. So we'll see everything here. That that works too. That will be an array of things. That output. And then how do we need to serialize this array? What I want to do is just to know that we have something. Okay, log output here. What will it do? Just this way. I'm not sure it's an array. An array that two string should work. Array that to string should work. Yep, we should be able to see, right? First item, second item, scenario of string. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. I on a on a third reading of the documentation. I think you did it correctly first time as well. So yeah, but output output we show us the SDA out SDA and everything. Yeah, yeah, that's that's at least good. Action run workflow read one six. Oh, we could even output result but that won't work maybe the same way because if you have an object it will just give you the type uh that actions here that we don't have test for the functional test Okay. Setting up node. Yeah, it's not taking out changes. That's why we don't see anything.
ticking the main brain. I don't know why. Well, I think I know why. It's because what we ask it to run is not what it's doing after. The issue is that it's running the workflow from the RIS 1.6 branch, but the workflow itself, let's say, check out and checking out main. So then the functional script is the one for main. Because we have a checkout action here. Yeah, that should actually check out the current branch. This action, maybe not. Uh, yeah, that's so that's you know that's used everywhere. It, that, this is actually that checks out so pull request builds as well. You see here. No, I believe if we don't call checkout, there will still be a checkout. I'm afraid that by calling. By calling it, we are overriding what the GitHub action we have done by default. If you uh, if you take a look at the the build or the workflow output, it does say that it uh, checks out the release branch, so that should be correct. Oh, let me see. Where do you see that? Uh, yeah, the, uh, at the bottom, if you if you open the checking out the ref. Uh -huh. You need to fetching, yeah. Okay. So run action checkout, then run action settlement. Okay, so yeah, okay. So you say, I agree, it says branch setup to track remote branch. So it's using release 1.6. Why do I not see B? Maybe it failed, but no. Because we go to starting application. Building, starting application. Then I need a change that says building. Where is my change? Yeah, building, build, then starting application. And there is no try catch here. So I'm confused. Release one six. Uh, just to just troubleshoot this one, uh, I would recommend adding a new step in the workflow that just runs the .NET build command. Um, that will also show whether your changes are actually properly taking, taking effect and then uh, we also see the output. What step is that run? Uh, it's just run, yeah. Here, yeah, I want to see what this. Yes. That. Okay, we'll do that offline. Lots of details that we don't care to record. Um, yeah, if someone wants to look at it offline and I will let it run and we'll see how it goes. But I believe that's the last thing we need to do, to test that it's actually working. 
something we could test also. So, so we need to, to run the functional test for sure. So we need to fix that. Otherwise, everything's working. We try it locally. Something we haven't tried uh, since last time is the um, templates. So we did it at some point and we found some issues that we fixed. Uh, but we should try it again before raising it. So the templates, the technique was to generate a new package, put them in a local folder, and then uh, install the templates from this local folder. To MD3, document that. We mentioned documenting it, documenting this step. Not automate, automating it, but at least documenting just to remember how to do that. I don't think we did that, but we should just to be able to test the templates manually. They were. This is how we found some issues with the Net7 and so on, because some options were not there by default, and then the templates would fail because we are targeting to GFMs now. Uh, but yeah, that's the next step, just validation, and then you can ship. What's good here is that we can repro application already built, skipping build in this case. It's interesting. Yeah, you will need to clean the repo, your local clone. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Good job. Think about it. Oh, because I pre built earlier, yeah. No, that was a mistake. Okay, because it will clean also all the NPM installs probably and then we'll do Cypress again. Last attempt. I'm not on the latest one six, so we should not see the message, but at least if we can. It's working. Slow. Oh, test, okay. Okay, then, and what did we do? CD, and install. Hopefully there is some cache. Yep, and then, then run and see test. Building and now it's slower, so it's doing something. Yeah, it's working. So I don't know why it's not working on GitHub Actions. It doesn't say anything. I will kill it and I will do kill. Okay, and I will do it again, the same script. Now it will be built already. Uh, how do I delete the folder? What folder is it looking for? This one, let me see one. It's the app data. You try and delete the row five folder. What, sorry? You try and delete the app data, right? No. Build that one. Which one is it looking for? To say I don't need to build. Nothing building already built. Bin release. And if I run it again, it should try to build. But this time I want to see the build thing. I don't see the build thing. <laughs> There's something weird. Wait, 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 wait. Where is that file? Oh, 
can see face trainer. It, it's there. Or maybe there are two files that do the same thing and it's like, but no, it's that test runner that, no, maybe, yes, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not doing the good test runner because I don't see the bit message. Maybe. Yeah, there's, there's also a, in the Cypress commands folder where you are, there's also a dist folder and leads the test runner as well. So I don't know what these commands do and how that file is selected, yeah, but perhaps that's that, a yeah, there, there, Oh, there has been a copy paste there. Ah, oh, crap. What is MGS? Yeah, one is the source, the other one is the destination. SSRC. Yeah, I see that this is built with roll up. But it will grow here. NPM run MC test. Uh, yeah, and uh, so locally, you will need to to run the, the, the build script and npm script. Oh, uh, so uh, but but if you if you I think if you open a command line in the uh, in the folder of the functional tasks and just say npm run watch oh, uh, that will run the roll up task there is this thing maybe that's what so mbc test here um sorry i was looking at this folder what it contains mbc test yes oh stupid what do you say? NPM watch? Uh, NPM run watch, but uh, because there's a there's an NPM script defined in the packages JSON uh, that's called watch, but apparently that won't work. Uh, why it's not working? There you go. If if you run that. That npm script, then uh, any changes to testrunner.js will be built with rollup, and you will get the testrunner.js in the dist folder updated as well, and more. Just want to see building. Already, so. Okay, I'm changing the correct file now. So, just want to do that. Local.log. dot output to get everything. Yes. But we know it's working right. We just want to see it there. That well, yes. Again. I didn't do the correct thing. Hey. 
speaking, starting. That's the output. Okay, we are getting the output. Okay, which means here, file to change is with that list, test trainer, edit, and then we have to revert the thing. And some of these should not be, like the test, probably should not be there, so it can be rebuilt, or say there is something to be rebuilding. But... Yeah, by the way, uh, any changes you make to the dist file, please yeah. also add to the source file. And by the way, in the meantime, I figured out that you have to run the npm run watch or npm run build commands in the Cypress commands folder because I didn't notice that there are actually two packages adjacent in, the, in this project. And yeah, and that will keep it updated, of course. Options. I'm not sure it's doing it on the because it's so. I won't take the risk. It's building for the two of them. So now I think I know what's happening. I think I know what's happening. If you take a workflow like PR, we do install Probably with net. Uh, yeah, it's actually pre installed both the six and seven SDKs. Both, both or just seven? Yeah, because both. I don't see. Both, yeah. Uh, both but perhaps it would, be, it would be useful to actually specify the, the framework selection during build. Maybe that's what we need to do here. my machine. Where's the image actually? Ubuntu latest, Windows latest, and this one is Ubuntu latest. So it should have, yeah, it has the latest of it. And we don't do a publish to build. When we see the issue it will be obvious but none okay uh that's it for today we'll <laughs> write out offline but oh i hate when it's not being obvious and life is bad uh sorry that here thanks everyone see you on on Thursday or next week on Tuesday. Bye-bye. Bye, Ara. Bye, bye.